Hello, everyone. What we're going to talk about now is <clears throat> we have a software that we have for our patients. And what we talk about is the your blood when you go get a physical done. We take the numbers that the physician take and we put it in our software. And what that does, it lets us know what is lacking in the bloodstream. So the reason why a lot of times your hair is falling out is due to lack of something in the bloodstream. And so we tackle those things when we have patients come in in our trichology hair loss clinic and want to know why their hair is coming out. So tonight we're going to talk about a full blood chemical analysis tonight. So subscribe to this channel, share, um, hit the like button, also leave a comment in the comment section and we'll definitely answer those questions uh, throughout the video. So first we're gonna talk about what this blood count analysis, what it's doing is this one of our patients that we actually did, and we're actually gonna go in and talk about things that we actually seen with this particular patient here, okay? So one of the things is we talked about is the glucose, we shared the screen here. So, with the glucose, this is the number, is uh, the number that they had was a 73.00, um, which is not too bad, which means that uh, blood sugar is actually pretty good. When you see these numbers here, and you'll see with the arrow here, optimum is what we want the number to be at. If it's uh, above optimum, that's the physician's number that they see. By the time the physician's number get here, um, above optimum, they consider that borderline, but they won't put your medication until they get to high. Our software wants you to be at optimum because if you get to the above optimum, they would they would consider that normal, but technically it's not because your body is already shifting to where they want to put your medication. Once you get out of their normal range, they want to put your medication. The above optimum to us is that it will start shifting the body into a, a metabolic phase to where your body is getting too high of a count in the blood to where by the time your physician sees it, you know, matter if it's your OBGYN or your primary physician, when that happens, they won't tell you that your body is in transition. Holistic practitioners as myself, we will say your body's going to a transition phase. So we need to reverse and see what the root cause of while your blood sugar is in the, it's going in that position. When you see up here the um, hemoglobin A1C level here was 13.6, which is actually pretty high, which is pretty high here. So we want that level to go down. And so what we did was because the glucose was 73.0, but the hemoglobin A1C level 13.6, we need to bring that number down. Also with the EAK, EAG level was high, we need to start reversing that. So when you see optimum, that's the numbers we look for, but the numbers we plug in is from your physician, their number is gonna be above optimum. And that's the difference between the two. And so their bun area, which was optimal, which was actually pretty good. Their creatine um, numbers was 0 0.72, um, but which is actually below um, the optimum, the phase there. The electrolytes is also what we look at, the sodium level, chloride, sodium, the potassium, the CO2 is also what we look at. And so these numbers here were pretty normal. So her electrolytes was pretty good. Uh, metabolic um, was actually pretty decent. The protein in her bloodstream was good. The minerals that she's needing in her bloodstream was good. Um, we do have a few of her calcium was a little low with that, but her liver, liver uh, was actually pretty good with this. All of her lipids. So when you start seeing all of these numbers here, this is what we look for. And as we, her hormone levels are, uh, FSH, we always ask, especially a lot of females who are going through some changes, make sure they're going through menopause, we ask them to ask their physician to take an FSH count. They would not do it unless you ask them to, okay? So with that being said, it's a 3.30. 
which means she's not in menopause at all, okay? So this person is post, uh, considered post-menopause here, okay? So also the CBC is another thing we look for in, in the actual blood clot on her platelets, her white blood cell count. So as we continue to go, we have a chart telling the hemoglobin level is up. And so what we look for, this particular patient here, you will see three of her transition of this particular patient, three of the transitions of how we start reversing some things in this particular patient to bring the number that you see here that's high. Over the year, you will see another, another video that we will show. You will see how we was able to reverse the numbers. And what we did was tackle the root cause of what was lacking in the bloodstream, okay? So this is just a chart. And again, this is the optimum. The standard range is what the regular physicians, the uh, physicians look at, but a holistic practitioner, we look into this range here. We want to tackle things before we get to these numbers because by the time it gets to the standard range, your body is already in that phase. It's just in the first phase. And usually physicians don't tackle this phase until it gets out of their range and then they put you on medication. What we do is that we don't want once we start seeing it into above optimum range, we start tackling that immediately, okay? So we're going to keep going down. Um, and so this is just another score report that we have here. And what we do is this is going to let us know as we keep going down, this is going to let us know what is lacking into the, into the bloodstream, okay? So we definitely know possibility of dysfunctioning here is going to be the blood sugar regulation. So we definitely want to think we definitely have to get under control. Okay. So now this is what we tell a lot of our patients here. So the blood sugar regulations, 100% is likely uh, much needed improvement. And so our patient has a blood sugar regulation score, which indicates that there is likely a high risk of dysfunction in their blood sugar regulations. Further assessment is required to find out what the dysfunction is. Blood sugar dysfunction, these, these regulation is affected by genetics, diet, the lifestyle, nutrition, and the environment. What we always do is say, you definitely have to still consult with your physician because we definitely still talk, work closely with their regular physician so that we work hand in hand, that way they know what we're doing and that we know what they are doing. And this is the some of the causes that can have the blood sugar and this is for this particular uh, patient here is that um, their hypoglycemia uh, and their metabolic syndrome and they, their insulin resistance. That is what's going on with their body and it's causing the blood sugar regulation score to be so high. So which it becomes a type two that type two diabetes. What we're going to do is start giving some type of vitamins that would kind of help with that while we're working on eating nutrition because uh, we have a book that is actually um, on Amazon for blood type eating. You can definitely click the link in this bio here and go to the four blood type booklet and order on for Amazon. So we put this patient on our book uh, for blood type eating was we knew where her blood type was and start giving her food regimens to start bringing that blood sugar down because that means that patient is eating things that is raising her blood sugar, okay? So one other thing is she had a shortage of a mineral status here. The patient may be in early stages of mineral deficiency that's causing an in increase in their mineral status score. While this may not require immediate attention, we want to keep an eye on. But with anything that's over 50% um, lacking in the bloodstream, we automatically will prescribe a, a vitamin that will help bring that into the bloodstream. And over here, this is what caused that mineral status to be high, okay? The magnesium, the RBIC was low, the calcium was low, and, the, and also the phosphates were low. So that's what caused this number to be 67% of high. Also, she lacked zinc. Zinc is one thing that they definitely need it. So whenever you go to your primary physician or your OBGYN, they don't go over these numbers. 
we go over these numbers with you and let you what's lacking in the bloodstream, okay? When you're lacking zinc, your anxiety go up. Sickle cell numbers is when people have sickle cell, they definitely low in zinc automatically. Okay. So these things are so this patient, we put them on a zinc needed. Okay. So, and that's because of the um the actual phosphate levels was low. So that's the reason why the zinc was 90%. They need some zinc in their bloodstream. Okay. So their metabolic syndrome, which is what this is talking about here. So as we continue to go, their metabolic um, syndrome is talking about the hemoglobin, which is talking about the blood sugar. But when we go to the concerns, two things that they are needing, this patient needed a blood sugar support and zinc support. And what we did is that we, in the other uh, video you will see, is that uh, we have a built-in pharmacy, uh, a pharmacy department uh, with our clinic. And what we did, and we give discount for our patients, is that we send over to the pharmacy the prescription, and the pharmacist actually goes in and fulfill the prescription, and it gets shipped to you. So you don't have to go and send in, go to the pharmacy. We have all our physicians right here in our software. We all work together. Uh, we put the numbers in. We see what is lacking in the bloodstream. And then once we uh, do a phone call with you, you don't have to come into our clinic for this particular service. We can do it uh, via Zoom or even a phone call. This will be in your email and we send this directly over to you. You send us over your blood work. We put, punch the numbers in. Uh, we call you over the phone or either via Zoom. And we go over all the numbers of what's lacking in the bloodstream and we can start getting things back in a normal um, balance into your body. So two things this patient need here was a blood sugar support and a zinc support. And so what we did was once we went through all of this, we went in and we uh, had the patient to get a blood sugar support, which was prescribed by our pharmacy. We prescribed it, but they fulfilled it. And on that pharmacy, it has your doses in there, how many milligram, microgram that you need it, um, and also the zinc support. Everybody is going to be different. What people do a lot of times, they go and buy zinc and go buy magnesium, go buy vitamin D, but you don't know how much you need to take. Stop wasting your money. Contact our clinic. It will be in this link here. And you can definitely email us your blood um, numbers from your physical um, and make sure that you have your A1C levels numbers in there. If you are over the age of 40 and up, ask them for an FSH number when you go get your physical, when you get your blood work done and then send those um, over to us. Uh, we will send an invoice to you um, for that amount. Um, I think we even have it for $125 now. So for $125, that is very, very good. We go over the numbers with you, and then we send you over to our pharmacy department. You'll get, um, that's with our full script department, um, with the pharmacy that we have. Uh, we will have the vitamins that you need as lacking in the bloodstream because it's hard to eat the things you need to have. We also will put you on a food regimen if you're needing, depends on what's going on in your bloodstream. So this particular patient here needed a blood sugar support and they needed a zinc support. And so we got to get into the bloodstream because this particular patient hair loss was coming out due to lack of the, um, the due to high type two diabetes, which they was on medication. Okay, so two things worked against the medication they was on gonna definitely take some hair loss, take some hair out. And their hemoglobin levels was high and they lack in zinc in the bloodstream. So those three things worked against this patient. So what we did was start working on their food regimen. Then we started working on getting them some blood um, sugar support and zinc support. So hope this guy help you, hope this helped you guys out just to understand what I what we do in our hair loss clinic, trichology hair loss clinic, we are located in Winston Salem, North Carolina. But for this service here, you do not have to be in our city. 
you can email us your blood work. We can put it in our software. We will contact you, show you what vitamins that you need to be taking, have it with our pharmacy that will come directly through your email. You order, it shipped to you. Just that simple. So hope you guys subscribe and like and comment. And I hope this was very helpful to you. Um, and we will have more to come for part two on this video. Talk to you later.